Buckle up, buckaroos! Eight things you're doing wrong when driving fast. So, would juggling three oranges while driving blindfolded in the fast lane count here? Yes? Oh, okay, I thought so. Now, you might find yourself driving fast if you're late for work, need to be on time for an appointment, or want to get to your destination as quickly as possible. Even if you stay under the speed limit, there are certain things that can put you at risk of an accident and should be avoided. Keep watching to learn how you can drive fast and be a responsible driver for yourself, your passengers, and other cars in the vicinity. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on notifications to join us on the Bright Side of Life. Counting down from number 8. Turning the steering wheel incorrectly. The way you turn the wheel while driving fast can be crucial. A lot of people use one hand or put one hand over the other to make a turn. If you want to turn right, the proper way is to push the steering wheel with your left hand and pull it with your right hand. If you drive fast, you're at a higher risk of getting into an accident, which is why you need to be mindful of your car's airbags and how they respond. If your airbag is deployed while you're turning your wheel with an incorrect movement, the force of the airbag could send your hand flying into your face and cause serious damage. To avoid this, just remember to use the push and pull movement. And though it might look cool, never turn the wheel with just the palm of your hand or your thumbs. Number 7. Coasting Now, coasting is dangerous by itself. If you add speed, the danger only increases. When a car is coasting, it's moving forward without using a lot of power or effort, and you lose any braking assistance your engine provides. Coasting can be accomplished by holding down the clutch pedal or setting the car's gear in neutral. Accidents can occur when drivers fail to use the accelerator and brakes and just let momentum do the job. Coasting might save you some gas, but it will make you lose throttle control. If you're making a turn on the road, the wheels will no longer be controlled by the engine, which might make the car bend too fast or make a turn that's too wide. And, of course, if you're driving downhill, the vehicle will basically be free-falling and will quickly gather speed. This will force you to slam on the brakes in hopes of restoring control. Number 6. Not keeping your eyes on the road I uh, bet you've heard this one before. From your mother. This one might seem like common sense, but it's more important than ever when driving at high speeds. Nothing should be distracting the driver visually. In a 6-second period, drivers who take their eyes off the road for 4.6 seconds, in which time a pedestrian could cross the road, traffic could come to a full stop, or an animal could get in the way. Other visual distractions like using a GPS or trying to change a song on your iPod can lead to serious consequences. If you aren't mentally engaged with driving, that can also lead to accidents. If your mind is elsewhere, maybe thinking about your grocery list or your to-do list for the day, and you're speeding at 50 miles per hour, you might miss an important stop sign or not realize that the light changed from green to red. Number 5. Distracted driving When you think of distracted driving, you might think about driving under the influence, texting, or talking on the phone. However, something like playing loud music can also affect your response time. A study conducted at Memorial University of Newfoundland found that listening to loud music can slow down someone's reaction time by 20%. That is a critical amount of time, and it could prevent an accident. So what exactly would be considered loud music? Just about 95 dB. And since typical car radios can reach 110 dB, and some can go up to 170 dB. This situation happens more often than it should. Number 4. Listen to your favorite tunes. Loud music isn't the only thing that can distract you. Your favorite songs, at a normal volume, can also do the trick. Music is known to reduce stress and anxiety and improve memory, so there are plenty of upsides to it. But blaring out your favorite songs while driving fast might not be such a good idea. A 2013 study conducted at Ben Gurion University in Israel tested 85 teenagers on their driving skills while listening to music. 
While listening to their favorite songs, 98% of them made errors. While listening to easygoing music like soft rock or jazz, only 77% of them made mistakes. So, if you're driving fast, it's best to keep the radio off. Number 3. Staying too close to other cars. The recommendation is to double or even triple your distance between cars. A good way of judging this distance is if the car ahead of you passes a landmark, it should take 6 seconds before you pass it. Many drivers don't take into consideration that as you increase your speed, you should also increase the distance between cars. For every 10 miles per hour, there should be 4 car lengths of space. A greater distance gives you more time to react to a dangerous situation. Reaction times vary from person to person. If you drive fast and the car ahead of you stops, in a short amount of time, you'll have to decide whether to keep accelerating or brake and whether to go straight ahead or try to veer to the side. It usually takes between 0.7 and 3 seconds for a person to react, with the average person reacting in about 2.5 seconds. And keep in mind that if you drive too close to a car, this could be considered tailgating, which is illegal in many places. Number 2. Driving fast despite bad weather conditions. When the weather gets bad, like when it's raining or a huge amount of falling snow threatens your visibility, it's time to slow down. Unfortunately, not everyone does that. The speed limits on roads are meant to be used in ideal or dry conditions. So it's necessary to slow down for winter weather. Even if you feel confident that you can avoid a patch of ice and keep control of your car, it isn't just about your control, but about everyone else's on the road too. Other vehicles might hydroplane or stop suddenly. If you drive fast, you'll have less time to react, and you might panic and slam on your brakes. If you're driving in the snow, this could make your tires lose traction and fully take away your ability to control your vehicle. It can take 4 to 10 times longer to break on ice than on dry asphalt. Normally, a car traveling at 60 miles per hour needs a minimum of 240 feet to come to a full stop. But this distance increases significantly in wet conditions. Number 1. Incorrect hand position. In the past, people were taught to keep their hands at the 10 and 2 o'clock positions on the steering wheel. But AAA and the National Highway Safety Administration have changed the guidelines. It is now recommended that people hold the wheel at the 9 and 3 o'clock positions. If you hold the steering wheel with one hand or hold it lower than recommended, perhaps at the 8 and 4 o'clock positions, this will lessen your control of the car. Having control is of the utmost importance while you're driving fast. In case of an accident, Having your hands high up puts you at greater risk of injury if the airbag deploys. Remember that your safety can't be guaranteed if you're driving over the speed limit. It might be better to be a little late to your meeting than risk getting into an accident. Like they say, better safe than sorry. So tell us, brightsiders, are you guilty of doing any of these things? Let us know in the comments section. Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe to stay on the bright side.